This is Twit. 8888-ASK-LEO, the phone number. Jose on the line. Our next caller, Modesto, California. Hello, Jose. Hi, Leo. Welcome. Yeah, I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. um, um, I'm about to get the uh, UPA key. Um, and uh, before I do, I want to ask you, if I do get it, how will I sign in to services like uh, Google, YouTube, whatever, using devices like uh, Roku? Yeah, let me explain uh, how this all works, because I use one, and I'm a big fan of it. It's called the YubiKey, Y-U-B-I-K-E-Y. It's from a company called Yubico, Y-U-B-I-C-O. And it's one of, there are many companies that make these. Google even sells uh, their own keys. They're called the Titan Security Keys. Uh, the YubiKey is a little device. You can keep it on your, so little you can keep it on your keychain. And the idea is it plugs into the USB port. And to the computer, it appears to be a keyboard. So every computer will recognize, and the world will recognize it, because they just say, oh, use a USB keyboard. In fact, sometimes when you use it on some devices, they pop up a little screen saying, what's that keyboard you're plugging in? You just cancel that out. Then it has buttons on it, or a, a one or two, mine has two, that you press, and it will spit out a very long 20 or 30 character string of letters. But there's a processor in the YubiKey, so those letters change every 30 seconds, just like your Google Authenticator does. So it's basically a, a one-time authenticator, uh, time-based, T-O-T-P, we call it, time-based authentication. And that time-based authentication is tied to that key. So unlike, say, a Google Authenticator, maybe somebody steals your phone and figure that out or whatever, this thing, they'd have to have this, this little key. Now, there's a couple of things you should know about it. Uh, first of all, your question is, you know, how do I use it? Not everybody supports it. So Twitter does, Facebook does, uh, all the password managers do, and that's actually the main reason you'd want to use this because your password manager is like the most important thing of all, right? You don't want anybody to get into that. So have, this is what we call two-factor authentication. You still need your password and login. That's one factor, something you know. The other factor is either something you are, by bio, bi biometrics like your fingerprint or your iris or your uh, face recognition, or something you have, like a physical device like your phone or a YubiKey. So the YubiKey fits into that something you have category as a second factor of authentication. The nice thing is only you have it. So a bad guy trying to get into your password account or your bank account might even know your password, they, but they don't have this special authentication key. YubiKey can be used for a whole lot more than just that, um, but that's the initial use for it as a TOTP or time-based one-time password authentication. Um, not everybody supports it. Oh, the other thing you really need to know is you don't ever just buy one. You got to have two. Uh, one you can keep with you, keep on your keychain or whatever. I keep it on my keychain, but the other one you want to keep somewhere safe in case you lose lose the first one. Because <laughs> and wherever you can use a YubiKey or a hardware authentication device you can usually register multiple of them. So you, when you first go to Twitter and you say, yeah, I want to use a hardware authenticator, you can add two. Make sure you add two and keep that second one safe. I actually always buy three because if you lose this, it's really tough to, to, to recover it, as it should be, right? As it should be. So this is the, uh, this is the black diamond tip. For, so the first thing everybody ought to do Everybody, we hear from people all the time, oh, I just, my Facebook account got hacked, my Instagram hacked. First thing you should do is turn on two-factor authentication on everywhere that lets you. Banks, password managers, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere that allows you to have two-factor, turn it on. Get used to that. You can use just Google Authenticator, uh, the software, uh, or Authy, which is the one I use, A-U-T-H-Y. That's from a company called Twilio. They're both free. If you want... Uh, this a little slightly better protection, then you can use a physical authentication key, uh, which is even harder for a bad guy to spoof, obviously. Google has a high-end, um, extra secure system for Gmail users. They, they, they started this after the Russians hacked the Democratic National Committee, John Podesta's account, uh, email account, and of course all those emails leaked out. 
Uh, and it was because John Podesta was only using a login and a password, in fact, not a very good password. Had he been using two-factor, probably would have never been cracked. Google realized, well, we need stronger security for people who are targets. We can't, you know, we can't, you know, just rely on a password and authentication. So they have something called the Advanced Protection Program. And the way it works, you get two hardware authentication keys. They're from Google. They're, they call them the Titan keys. And uh, it is, and they also turn off some features that you might want. And it's not intended for you and me. It's intended for politicians, public figures, uh, people who might be more likely to be attacked. Activists, journalists in conflict zones, that kind of thing. And uh, good on Google for doing it. Uh, I'm not recommending advanced protection. I turned it on, and even I found it a little onerous. It was a little hard. <laughs> it was a little much, uh, and I don't think I'm that targeted. Um, I'm, I'm happy to just to use two-factor, but I should say every one of you should be using uh, two-factor. So I'm glad you asked about it, Jose. Um, if you want, Yuba keys are not cheap. They're 50, 60 bucks each. But if you want the added protection of two-factor, and it's not, just a little authentication application running on your phone, but it's it's an authenticator on your keychain or in your pocket. And there's an extra burden there. You can't lose it. That's why you get two. Keep one at home or in your safe deposit box. Uh, I strongly recommend it. I think it's a very, very good idea.